you guys what is up and welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you guys my skincare fridge so i've seen a lot of these videos on youtube about what's in my skincare fridge so i said hmm let me show you guys what's in my skincare fridge but before we get into that if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. Miracle Glow Oil as well as Laramar Elixir. And if you would like to keep up with me, your host, make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. With that being said, this is my skincare fridge. So like I said, I've seen all the videos and I was like, hmm, maybe I should show you guys. But then I realized that when I see all the skincare fridges on YouTube or on Instagram, I realize that mine is a little bit more like I really did utilize skincare fridge when they said fridge. It looks just like my fridge on Sunday when we go grocery shopping, but <sighs> I just decided to show you guys side note the reason why I'm carrying it or holding it is because I try every which way for this fridge to be in the scene with me in the chair but it just didn't go so y'all just gonna see me holding it but once you guys see it the main thing let me just stop rambling and just get into it this is my fridge. was until I see everybody in a mama's skincare fridge and I said Shadera your skincare fridge is a little bit messy it's a mess so I think it's time to take some of these products out and some of them when I looked in it because it's I, I, I'm just shocked some of them I don't use as much and some of them have literally got really cold that they're solid so we're just going to take those out so are y'all ready for this mess? Okay, you guys, so if you don't see me, it's because, you know, we're decluttering. But this is my skin. <laughs> okay, so pretty much this is my skincare area. Y'all know the microwave. I use it for my DIY skincare treats. Uh, but let me focus it just a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay, so this is my skincare fridge. Now, I do want to say I did get this fridge at... Um, Amazon uh, I'm gonna just leave a link down below where I got this fridge it's on Amazon it really works well I just love this fridge so much but that being said this is my toner spray that I did for Winnie Harlow skincare routine it just feels much better uh, cold so it's just tea tree oil and distilled water I just decided to keep that in there I don't think I need it in there anymore uh, this is aqua de rosas of course my uh rose water spray it's the new formula that i'm testing so yeah that's why it's in here can y'all see is it a little too light let me make it bright here we go also if the camera's auto focusing i'm sorry i'm trying to close it can you guys see is it much better can you guys see okay perfect okay so if you hear auto focus is because i want the camera to focus so you guys can see so I guess I'll just talk through all these products. Uh, Y'all can see how bad it looks. It really looks like my fridge. I've seen everyone look so cute. See? Oh! Oh! <laughs> so, this is getting bad. I'm going to have to clean this out. So, this is my fourth grade beauty watermelon seed oil that fell. I thought it needed to be cold. So, I <laughs> decided to make it cold. This is my unseen sunscreen by Super Gloop. I thought it needed to be cold. <laughs> ah, this is a mess so this is nug beauty's watermelon mask i don't know if you guys can see it but this is from nug beauty um i really like this mask it's a great moisturizer but it's a little too hard so i think i'm gonna take it out the fridge um we should just start with the sleep uh the face mask so i have this one by Innisfree. free it's a korean brand 
and then I have some of my BTS uh, facial masks that I love so much side note they feel way better cold you guys uh, this is a mask allergy lip mask a lot of you have been asking for my lip skin care routine so I, I'm probably going to do it I don't know this is that Freeman melty mask I don't really think it needs to be in the fridge uh, because it looks horrible so I think I'm gonna take it out so everything that I'm showing you guys I think I'm gonna take half of them out because they don't need to and this is the collagen melty web mask it doesn't need to be in the fridge it's by maskology by the way so I think I'm gonna take those out and just keep these in so <laughs> We're doing it as we're going. So I have a pile of things that are going to stay and those that are not going to stay. So that's how we're going to do it. Okay, you guys. So here is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. Uh, I love this stuff cold. So I decided to put it cold. This is a great moisturizer. Uh, this. Oh my God. I didn't realize this went solid. Okay, so apparently this Sephora mint gum mask went solid, so we're just going to take it out. Because I added the smoothie one, so I was under the assumption that because that one, the smoothie is a smoothie mask, you know, when you're not finished with your smoothie, you put it in the fridge. So I was under the assumption if I put it in the fridge, it would be nice and cold. Well, I don't think it's supposed to be in the fridge because it's... It's going really bad, so I think I'm going to take it out the skincare fridge. So that's the pile. This could stay, that could stay. I'm keeping the super glue. You guys don't know, when you put sun, like sunscreen on your face coat, it feels so good. So this is the glycolic mask uh, pill that I got from Caudalie or Caudalie. And I think I'm going to take it out, so I'm just going to put it in that pile, the takeout pile. And the mask is in the takeout pile. So this is fourth ray beauty. This doesn't look too well solid. It looks really bad, you guys. So, I mean, it doesn't feel bad, but I may just keep it in the fridge. Okay, you look like you like the fridge. <laughs> okay, so then <laughs> I got samples in my fridge, you guys. So I just like to put my samples in the fridge just in case someday I use them. But I think I will put them in a Ziploc bag from now on. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, did I? I think you guys see so many skincare fridges. You guys know the benefits of fridges. So this is just a decluttering uh, situation going on here. Uh, this is my Dr. Lancer's Nourishing Cream. I think that it may not need to be in there. So we're just going to put it in a need, not need to be pal. Okay, so this is my Laneige sleeping mask. I'm going to take it out because I don't like to go to sleep with cold lips. But side note, Laneige lip sleeping mask. I will be spotlighting and skincare spotlight because this stuff is bomb diggity. I've had this little jar for about a month now. And uh, you guys, if you are really looking, you guys, if you're really looking for a nice a lip sleeping mask. Oh my God, Laneige. I just love your products. With that being said, this is my La Mer. I want to do a review on this. Uh, Sephora had this for a sale, right? They had some sort of sale. Like if you buy $50 worth of products, you get a free La Mer. So you know I have to do it because I've never had bougie skincare products. So I got a $68 water tatcha cream that's a big box, a big nice bottle. And... I got my La Mer. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to try this with you guys. I think I'm going to do a first impressions with you guys on camera. I'm so excited. With that being said, this is my uh, Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil. Now, this oil is solid. I have to show you guys. We're going to do a close up. Now, the liquid looks real, the liquid is normally liquefied, but it is solid, and I didn't know this stuff got solid, so, uh, because, look at, it like literally froze in the tip, so it will no longer go in the skincare fridge, so, uh, Cora, I'm sorry I can't keep you in the skincare fridge, so, yeah. Of course, I have my all-in-one snail repair cream. Uh, this stuff feels so good cold, so I'm going to just go ahead and keep it, but I'm going to keep it to the side. I have, like, 
I have so much Tatcha water cream it is sad I have two of the samples which one is in here I have another one probably in here somewhere I have this one and I have the bigger version and because my fridge was kind of packed I didn't put the bigger version in here so I'm stuck with this one so I think I'm gonna just take it out and then eventually add the bigger version of course this is my Peter Thomas Roth cucumber gel mask this stuff does well for cooling moisturizing and hydrating your skin and the winter time in the summertime you know we need masks in the summertime and this works wonders on sunburns so if you ever had sunburn you may try to uh, try it also the spa scriptions one is a cheaper version if you are a drugstore queen but you know sometimes the bougie products do feel way better so i'm gonna just say it the bougie products feel way better, y'all. I put my J roller in there. Uh, side note, this thing feels so good, cold with the Q. If you combine these two things, it's like amazing. But sometimes I don't like to do that because it could get all over my J roller. So what I like to do is uh, I do it, but you got to clean it. So, you know, you want to clean it. But I'm going to keep that in there because it just feels so good, cold. Um... I have my deep cleanse Tatcha product in here. I really don't think this needs to be in here and it feels like it's getting pretty solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my cleansers out. I think I'm gonna keep my moisturizers in there. Okay, so this is Tata Harper's Resurfacing Serum. This thing has solidified like the Noni Glow oil. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and it's a sample anyway. It's not the creme la la, the creme de la creme big one. Uh, this is my Coudele Vino Perfect Radiance Correcting Complexion. Radiance, I'm reading it, but it's Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting. Hyperpigmentation, people, you will love this. I am going to spotlight it on Skincare Spotlight, but I love this stuff so much. A lot of this stuff that's in my skincare fridge, I really, really like. But I didn't really like that picture. <laughs> so I think I'm going to keep this in here because this stuff is like $79 side note when Sephora had their sale I seemed like they had a whole package of stuff you could get with it so I was mad that they sell this alone for $79 but Coudele, Coudele, Coudele or Coudele I say Coudele, Coudele this stuff is no joke you guys this is no joke so now I have in my fridge, of course, I have my Drunken Elephant. I love Drunken Elephant. This is the TLC uh, Sakari Baby Facial. I'm going to keep this in here for now. But let me see if it's solidified just to be... Oh, this stuff solidified. Okay, so, you know, I think I'm going to keep it out. Well, no, I'm going to keep it in and give it a few... I'm going to wait. We we'll see. We'll see. So I have my... Uh, Kudali, I love Kudali. I love their products so much. Now, if I could fight to be on a PR list, it would be Kudali. Kudali makes really good products, you guys. So this is their uh, Beauty Elixir. I love their Beauty Elixir so much. This is like my holy grail next to that DIY uh, tea tree oil toner. I love this stuff so much. I am going to have to spotlight it in skincare spotlight as well. It goes on perfect with makeup. I just love you so much, Kudalee. I love you. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm a little hype. Y'all know I'm quirky. Calm down. With that being said, oh, my fridge is looking kind of moisture. I'm going to have to close it real soon. With that being said, I have my Dr. Lancer eye cream. Y'all know I love a good eye cream. And Dr. Lancer's eye cream is bomb diggity. So I think I'm going to take it out, however, because I don't think it needs to be fridge because I do use it at night. So I don't need eye cream that I'm using at night in the fridge. Plus, this fridge always stays down here. So I have an upstairs and a downstairs. This is mainly my downstairs area. So the fridge stays down here. So why is my eye cream in here? I don't know. I didn't know the purpose was just to store a few items. I thought it was to store everything in it. So, you yeah, know. Okay, so the last two products I have in here are my resurfacing serum by Tata Harper. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it in here. It's a little solidified, so I don't know if it likes it, but filling it right now, I think I'm going to take it out because this is super solidified, and it's not supposed to be solidified like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. 
uh and now i have my uh water sleeping mask by glow recipe i'm gonna see if this is solidified no yeah this solidified too it doesn't even have like the sticky texture so i'm gonna go ahead and take that out too so as you can see my skincare fridge is officially empty so when we get back i'm gonna go ahead and show you the newly renovated skincare fridge okay you guys so i'm going to show you my newly renovated skincare fridge that has been decluttered side note it may get bad again so <laughs> pray for me but this is the newly uh, renovated skincare fridge Ta -da! as you can see much better not cluttered you guys i know i'm not really a uh, uh, very um you know, I'm, I'm that type of person that I like to hoard certain things in my skincare fridge, but I'm not really a hoarder. Like, if it needs to be thrown out, I know. But those are products that I all like. And the La Mer in the box, I just wanted to keep it because it's just so expensive. But with that being said, I really hoped you enjoyed my skincare fridge decluttering of my skincare. <laughs> Let's do that again. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my decluttering of my skincare fridge. Let me know. Do you guys have a skincare fridge that needs to be decluttered? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you have in your skincare fridge? I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I know this is not a review of a skincare fridge, but I'm assuming so many people have seen skincare fridges. They're really popular and you know the benefits of keeping your products cold. What I didn't know was that everybody's skincare fridges have like four or five products and mine was ha I was literally just stuffing things in there and I didn't realize it got that bad I was like well this needs to be cool that needs to be cool I like this product so I'm gonna keep it cold like all my favorite products I like to keep cold so that's what I was saying in my head but then I started looking at other people's and I didn't realize that mine was bad but now I am team declutter skincare fridge with that being said I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode so make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you thumbs up this video, and make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. I love you so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.